welcome to Friday's Financial Fitness. Last week, I shared with you the impact the coronavirus has had on our overall economy as measured by GDP. And in the first week, we talked about the impact that the coronavirus has had on our overall employment, looking at the unemployment numbers. Today, I'm going to share with you how the coronavirus has been affecting the overall corporate earnings. When corporations make money, they can do one of three things with those profits. First, they can take their profits and reinvest them back into their own company in the form of technology or acquiring other companies or buying new equipment that ultimately with the goal of making their business more efficiency. Typically, these type of companies are referred to as growth-oriented companies. The second thing corporations can do with their profits is to pay those profits out in the form of a dividend to the shareholders. These companies tend to be larger and more established. And technically, if a company pays out more than 70% of their profits, they are referred to as a value-oriented company. And lastly, companies can take their profits to help stabilize their overall financial picture. This may take the form of paying down debt or simply sitting on their profits in the form of cash and setting them aside for a rainy day. So you might ask, why does this matter? Well, when companies go through challenging times like we're experiencing now, what they've done with their profits in the past can make a substantial difference in the future. The first quarter earnings for this year for the S&P 500 was down 14% compared to the first quarter of 2019. And estimates for the second quarter vary from a drop of 20% all the way to 30%. By shutting down the economy, there were certain industries that were affected more than others, and we saw the first quarter earnings report. Financials were actually hit the worst as they braced for a wave of loans going bad, and banks dramatically increased their loan loss reserves, which contributed to a 60% year-over-year drop in bank earnings for the first quarter. After the financial sector, it was the consumer discretionary sector that had a big drop in first quarter earnings. And they are continued to expect to see a very poor second quarter earnings. Consumer discretion includes things like restaurants, retail, travel, and entertainment, which includes cruise ships, hotels, and casinos. As the economy is starting to reopen, companies are reluctant to give their forecast for their second quarter earnings as it still is a lot of uncertainty for businesses as they reopen the economy. Next week we will conclude our series by talking about the fiscal stimulus in the impact it has had on restarting our overall economy.